Hello and welcome to the Jackie Boswell Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Head Women's Basketball Coach Jackie Boswell. Coach, uh, we're getting down towards the end of the season and um, your team's been kind of up and down over the last several weeks, but um, obviously, you know, it's crunch time, there's four games left and you're still in you know, position, you're fighting for a playoff spot, so just talk about, um, you know, how the season's gone the last couple of weeks and um, kind of the outlook, you know, going into this home stretch here. Yeah, I mean, I think we're really good when we're playing really well. I think we, you know, could definitely make a push here at the end of the season. Um, just have to still find a little consistency. I think nothing's been easy for this group this year yeah. um, from the beginning, and I've seen us fight through a lot of different things. So I'm very hopeful that we can take these last four games and fight through those and get us a good spot where we where we think we should be. Yeah, absolutely. As a coach, as one of the encouraging things is that you know the talent's there. You know that. When they play well, they're as good as yeah. you know anybody in the conference. But obviously, that consistency is what you've been fighting kind of all year. And you know, how do you you know? And obviously, we're late in the season. But how do you maybe try to develop that and kind of remind them that hey, when you guys play well, you know, you're, you're the best there is or one of the best. I think it's an everyday mental commitment. Yeah. Um, you know, we are you know as as good as those sophomores are. They're still sophomores. Right. They're really young and. Um, you know, so I think it's a mental commitment every day that us as coaches have to make sure that we bring with them every day and kind of remind them because, you know, athletically and talent wise, you're right. I think we're as good as anybody in the conference and, you know, got to give our conference credit too, as good as, as for as good as they are. I mean, everybody's yeah. giving people a run for the money and you have to come and play every day. And, and when you have to do that for as long as the season is, I think it does become more mental than physical. Yeah. Um, so we're just trying to find different ways and, and different unique things every day at practice mentally to get us ready. Yeah, that's certainly one thing as well that you just mentioned as a conference certainly is, you know, you look at Messiah at the top, but other than that, you know, it's so wide open. You know, there's teams, you know, Widener's better, Arcadia's better. There's a lot of teams that, you know, maybe weren't in the mix the last couple of years that now are competing with everybody. Right. I mean, we all have the same kind of players. We all want to play the same way. And yeah. um, so you just got to find whatever that edge is going to be. And, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm very proud of my team to, you know, everything that they've persevered through and overcome this year. And, you know, our lack of depth a little bit has been yeah. an issue, which we've never had to play with. Um, so they're yeah. not really used to playing mm -hmm. um, like that. So I thought they've done a tremendous job of stepping up to that challenge. And, you know, what we try to tell them now is there's one more challenge. There's one more yeah. challenge in these last four games. Let's get to where we want to get to and let's see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Um, shifting gears just a little bit. Um, a couple of weeks ago, senior Johnny Curry scored mm -hmm. her 1,000th career point. Um, just talk about what she's meant to the program over the last four years. and. Um, you know, the excitement and her able to reach that milestone. Yeah, I mean, I, what she's meant to us is, you know, she's come in and, and you know, exceeded all of our expectations. We knew that she could be a really good player. And, you know, for the first two years, she's kind of following Sarah Tarbert. And then yeah. last year, having to step up a little bit. And that's a very uncomfortable role for her. I don't think a lot of people know that about her. But she would rather defer all the fame and all the glory and everything to yeah. someone else. She wants to win. Um, but, you know, she's just very humble, and I'm just really happy for her that she was able to, you know, persevere through everything these last couple of years and really come out on top with that 1,000 point, because that's not easy to do yeah. at all. And, you know, she's definitely in an elite group um, with the Stevenson alumni, and um, just really excited for her. That was a fun night, and I hope she enjoyed it as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, well, um, four games left. We wish you the best of luck, and um, hopefully next time we're chatting, we're chatting about, um, you know, some playoff action. That's the plan. Thank you. All right. For Jackie Boswell, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Jackie Boswell Show.